guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading. Uh, so this is going to be for May the 31st until June the 8th, 2018. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to be using a new deck I just picked up called Romance Angels Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue. So it's been giving me a lot of strong, beautiful messages. Um, one of the main messages that were coming out is that there's still a lot of love for one another. Um, that love is undying. And there's re reaffirmations. A lot of, um, you know, awakening in terms of that loving connection and how undying it is. It, the longevity um, of it is undeniable. And that's what a true twin flame connection is about. So let me pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. So I don't want to overdo it with these cards. Um, I think I'll use another deck. So for the extended reading, I'm going to be doing some reading and also pulling uh, three additional cards per position. Let's see, what should I use? Um, I think I'll just use my cards. Whoa. I'm just going to flip them over and look through them because I saw the 1111 card there. So, um, deception, crossroads, the 1111, um, questioning whether or not uh, this connection is real or not. The masculine um, is at a crossroads, he needs to make a decision, take action. And I just finished doing an energy reading for June. Um, and that's exactly what I was seeing. You know, there's this realization of the twin flame connection, the masculine, I think is really awakening to it, awakening to the love. Um, the feminine needs to do the same. She's questioning the connection, wondering if it's real or not. So I'm going to keep that as an overall energy for the reading. Um, let me just get rid of this candle. Okay, so let me finish shuffling. Okay, so beginning with the feminine side, I just want to make sure all the cards are on camera here. Okay, so beginning with the feminine side, in the past, attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Uh, so this is all about the law of attraction. You know, it's about self-love. Um, when you're exuding positive energy, then that you attract that energy back to you. So the feminine um, has really been in the moment, in the now, um, really savoring in the pleasures, you know, the simple pleasures of life, taking it all in. And, you know, in the energy reading, I was seeing that the feminine, um, you know, needs to play a little. Um, 
maybe focusing a little bit too much on her job or what have you, but we don't really see that energy being reflected here. Here, uh, a strong sense of inner knowing and self-love, and that was actually part of the energy reading as well. All right, so for the masculine side, past, forgiving and learning. As you relief, release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay, so this was also a theme on the masculine side. There's this idea that he's been hurt before in the past and he doesn't want to repeat the same mistakes. But this card is all about forgiving that person, healing past wounds, letting go of anger, betrayal, you know, forgiveness is key. Present position for the feminine, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So the feminine um, desires to get away, to connect with the ma masculine, um, you know, be alone and deepen the bond that he feels or that she feels for him, you know, express her emotions, um, connect on a soul level. So the feminine is desiring to, yeah, be alone with the masculine. Get away for a little while. The energy is moving towards the masculine. This energy is facing towards the masculine. So the feminine is really in this whimsical energy for the next week. So keep that energy uplifted, right? The um, overarching theme was a higher vibration, being in passion, feeling passion, pursuing things that you feel passionate about. And that way you attract passion and romance into your life. So what is in the masculine's wow? present position is past life relationships you have known each other before so I say wow because this image continues to be repeated over and over again on the masculine side the past he's been hurt and now he's embracing the feminine and they're always in this stance the feminine is leaning into the masculine the masculine is um, you know embracing her and kissing her um, there's such a strong desire here. So there's a question being posed with this card. And again, we saw that in the energy reading. The masculine's realizing that this love, um, that he feels a lot of emotions, a lot of passion when it comes to her. And so this card is confirmation that, um, you know, that that love is reciprocated or felt on both sides. And it needs to be, it's unresolved business. It, there's something that keeps drawing the two together, right? Um, and so there, there is healing that needs to be done. Um, you know, there's also that, I, I didn't finish before, but there, there's this pet, question posed are they want the one you know and there's this feeling that they are the one you've known them before um, so it's worth it you know exploring that but I can't believe that image is showing up again on the masculine side beautiful uh, near future for the feminine chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so the feminine you are realizing um, that there is still deep feelings, a bond, a strong bond that you share with this person. This bond is unbroken and it is attracting you to the masculine and vice versa. Um, there's this desire to explore, you know, there's this mystical connection. Um, so the feminine I feel again is in this dreamy state her desire is starting to open up again her her sexual desires are starting to open up again 
the masculine near future codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so um there is something stopping the masculine and he needs to deal with that in order to move forward so this could be an addiction self-limiting belief codependent relationship or you know but there it is an addiction it's a chain there is an unwillingness or a fear here to release this energy um but that needs to be done in order to, for you to achieve freedom so the codependency is standing in the way right um there's a strong desire to heal the past to forgive but there may be he may be using this as a crux in a way so let's see what the rest of the cards say um, okay, so let's leave the final outcome for later. Uh, we'll move into the union energy. So the feminine night of fire, this is, was the overall energy for June, directed energy towards your passion, pursuing the things that make you feel alive. Um, you know, and it's accelerated energy as well, seeing the finish line. So this is what she's bringing into the union. Um, now the energy is directed away. So, I, you know, I really feel the feminine is starting to move into this vibration of chemistry and excitement and hopefulness, enthusiasm, optimism for the future. It, you're, it's, it's almost like she's floating on this whims whimsical boat, um, allowing it to draw her towards the masculine. She's feeling that attraction strongly. In the energy reading, she was closed off and cold, right? And this is what we want. We want her to feel that. So I feel this is an opening. You're taking the first steps toward healing this, this um, shield, this barrier that you've created. Okay, and so what is masculine bringing in? The Nine of Pentacles, readiness, independence, um, a desire to enjoy life, you know, enjoy the freedom of the financial freedom that abundance brings. Um, feeling stable, feeling like you've arrived, feeling it like you've made it. The foundation is solid and firm. You have enough coming in to look after your family and your needs. So he's bringing in this um, long-term stability. But this card is also about self-love, right? Um, the need to look after yourself. The need to put your desires, your needs first. Because if you're not happy, other people aren't going to be happy. At the foundation, we have the Nine of Swords, fear, worry, guilt, consumed by negative thoughts. But the Nine is um, nearing the completion, and since this is in the foundation, I feel that this has ended. That negative thinking that I mentioned earlier about the feminine being closed off, being cold, has shifted. Those thoughts are being released. There's a movement into this stillness and into this um, mystical energy. Vibrant, beautiful, positive energy. So it is a shared energy between the two aspects. So that's good. You know, over here we see this fear of being hurt again. And so that's released. Forgiveness. As a foundation. You know... There's also this sense of longevity as well, right? This long-term goal, this sense of not going anywhere. You know, that you still desire each other, you still feel passion for one another. Um, but there are these issues that are holding both of you back from fully embracing the 1111 connection. But there's that awakening is happening right now. It's very strong. The connection is strong. 
So what is it as a crowning energy? Grand awakening. That's exactly what I was saying. Hearing the calling. Now, what's interesting is that in the energy reading for June, um, the overall energy card, there were two of them. One was calling your soulmate. Putting that vibration out into the universe. The second card was making an effort. Making a choice. Making a decision. Um, sh expressing your your emotions, your feelings, having um, honest conversations, not holding back, right? And the feminine feels that there's something being held back, right? And so, as a crowning energy, there's this desire to to hear that calling and embrace it fully, to make the changes that are required to create a life that you've always wanted to that you know involves your true love okay so what's at the heart the moon deception fear things that are unsaid things are being kept hidden now there the the full moon was last night right May the 29th was the full moon um, in Sagittarius so that makes sense that we have the moon coupled with that night of fire passion but healing wounds letting go of the past facing your fears conquering those fears as the night of fire pursuing the things that make you happy so come coming out of that darkness into the light is definitely a theme here but choices and actions are required All right, so let's put this up here a little higher so you can see. Um, so the final outcomes for the feminine. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so again, feeling like you're being deceived, feeling like somebody isn't telling you the entire truth, somebody's wearing a false mask, deception. So sometimes this speaks to a new relationship, right? You're falling too fast you um, you're blind to you're blinded by your emotions you're not paying attention to people's behaviors so I'm going to pull one additional card as a clarifier for that what do you mean by pay attention to the red flags as a final outcome Whoa. I'm just looking through this side of the reading to see if there is anything that would indicate that other than the blaring seven of swords up there pay attention why stop six of pentacles this is the reciprocation card sharing your energy your life your dreams your desires you know connecting um, helping, reaching out. So the feminine, you know, needs to stop being so guarded, needs to give her energy, share her love. When you give love, when you share of yourself, then abundance flows to you. But if you're always going to be stuck in this questioning the other person's motives, then you're creating that blockage. Blast out of that darkness. Right? You can create the reality that you desire, but you got to believe it. And so the final outcome for the masculine is romantic feelings. Oh my God, the exact same image, you guys. Here, you, the feminine, are wearing the same blue dress. In the other reading, the feminine was wearing a dress, but there was a red belt. So blue... Blue is um, Mother Mary, right? It's that purity, um, untouched. Um, you know, there's that spiritual connection there as well. But what I feel is, you know, in this card we see past life relationships. There's that passion is there. 
and it is not going anywhere as a final outcome that this these romantic feelings are they just pu push forth right there and it, there's like a a darkness about this card over here we see green we see growth we see, we see the garden of life taking in the fruit the fragrance of life right here we have the past um, darkness breaking through into the light into growth romantic feelings that's beautiful your feelings are real and worth exploring you know it's like I this person, I just can't stop thinking about this person. Um, I can't stop loving this person. When I don't have this person in my life, I feel empty. I feel numb. But in order for you to fully embrace a new relationship or fully embrace your twin flame relationship, addictions, codependent relationships, those all need to be resolved. And, you know, this card also talks about paying attention to those red flags. Somebody's behaviors, are they, you know, how do they treat other people? You know, that's their true face, right? So trust your instincts. You feel a vibration, you feel a chemistry. And you're looking at that light and you're considering whether or not you want to fully embrace it, right? So open yourself up. There is self-love here, no doubt about it. It's reflected in the energy reading as well. Okay, so let me pull two cards from... Um, let's use John Holland, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So romantic feelings. This is all about inspiring romantic feelings within yourself. Feeling, you know, you're the one that benefits from those feelings. You're the one that feels those feelings. And so, again, you are spreading that beautiful energy that... you know, highly pleasurable energy to other people. They feel that energy and they reflect it back to you. You know, that's a beautiful, positive vibration to be in rather than to numb your feelings through addiction. You know, um, ignoring your own needs. Um, you're only harming yourself. You're always going to be in this space this unsatisfied, unfulfilled space. Okay, so let me pick the card. So for the masculine first, take the lead. See? There, there's this definite feeling of wanting to reach out, wanting to embrace the feminine, to touch the light. So I'll read that, and then for the feminine... Wow, Divine, Divine Feminine, the Empress card. Yes. Very similar energy. You know, she is um, Mother Nature. She is all about manifestation, growth, nurturing the seed. Okay, so number three. They're both threes, actually. So um, the Empress card actually popped up first, ironically. So I think Spirit wants me to read this one first. Okay. So the key words are cherish, nourish, blossom, abundance, nature, creativity. The Nurture card reminds you to tend to the garden. The relationships must be nourished in order to thrive, yes, you must nurture these connections. I feel a lot of coldness over on the feminine side. Feel 
that passion, feel those desires, allow you to feel deep emotions. Um, so relationships must be nourished in order for them to thrive. Count the abundant blessings of the relationships you have. Find ways to let other people know that you care for them and appreciate them. Good relationships can be taken to new levels of happiness. That's exactly what I was feeling. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, you, in order for you to be happy, you, you have to open up. You have to experience connections. Otherwise, you know, what is the purpose of life? It's to love. Um, good relationships can be taken to new levels, and that's what a twin flame connection is all about, right? You, you feel that void when they're gone, when you're together, that rush is back immediately, and it never changes. No matter how you change on the outside, that love is always there, and you, you know, it's, it, it constantly grows. Um, so good relationships can be taken to new levels of happiness and faltering relationships can be revived with loving care and attention. Yes. Yeah, so reviving, reigniting passion equally, be sure to tend to your relationships with yourself. Yes. Self love. And that's how you attract your twin back to you. Nurture your soul by giving, Ooh, hold on one minute. Wow, that went flying. Okay, so I was saying nurture your soul. So that's um, an important point, an accentuated point. Um, nurture your soul by giving yourself the grace to be who you really are and love yourself for it. Take a few moments every day to connect with the divine. Pull a card from the deck, meditate for five minutes, or simply have an attitude of gratitude. Nurture your mind by engaging in activities that stimulate and en engage. Use your creativity in some way every day. Everyone has the ability to be creative, whether you paint, write, cook, sew, sing, dance, li live. Take care of your body by maintaining your good health or by making it healthy. Relax in a bubble bath, enjoy a cup of tea, or take a long walk. Connecting with nature will soothe and nourish all aspects of yourself. Remember that nurturing yourself also raises your vibration and sends a signal of love into the universe. If you desire, the signal will be a beacon, right? That will bring a new and loving relationship to you. Yes, be the beacon. He sees you as the beacon, as the light. And it's like you both are reaching out to the light. You both feel each other's warmth. And so for the masculine, three of wands. So the key words are enthusiasm, initiative, grounding, creativity. Okay, so both cards are talking about creativity. And the energy uh, for June was the night of fire. And so again, that's pursuing things that you are passionate about, being creative, being in that vibration of creativity, being in um, the moment, being connected with your higher self, you know, very mystical energy. Um, so strong energies for success are all around you as new opportunities are opening up. Okay, there's that opening up energy again tap into this energy to fire up your relationship and bring you all that you desire regarding matters of the heart call down to the divine flame to ignite your passion ignite your passion that's what I actually um, um, titled for the um, what do I call that um, monthly energy forecast for June um, it seems like a really long title to me. Okay, anyways, um, so to ignite your passion and show you that the way to achieve your deepest wishes, don't wait for the other person to make a move. Take the initiative. Be bold. Again, um, make an effort. Calling your soulmate. Repeated theme. So the masculine is being asked to take the initiative. 
the feminine is asked to receive, right? The divine feminine is the receiver. The masculine is the one who, you know, the extroverted energy. Now is not the time for the status quo. Use this beautiful fire energy to explore new possibilities. How can you spice up your current relationship? How about learning a new skill with your friend or taking a family on a special vacation? If you're looking for a new relationship, um, think creatively and try new ways of meeting somebody. Step out of your comfort zone and be a little daring. Nice. Perfect. All right. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and so I'm going to be diving deeper into each card. I'll probably be doing a little bit of reading and also pull three additional cards per position for the extended reading. So if you're a patron, um, you are able to see that reading um, through that site. The link is below. Um, I also release the extended readings um, through my website early, earlier than YouTube. Um, and also if you wanted to purchase the, the reading, you can go to my website as well. So that link is below. All right. Um, I'm sending massive love your way and, uh, yeah, cheers. Welcome back to the extended version of this week's twin flame reading from May the 31st until June the 8th. Um, so as I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing a little bit of reading. I want to explore the cards a little bit more. So, um, Let's look at attraction. So this is coming in the feminine's past position. So uh, this card is asking you to enjoy life, to release fear and worry. Um, and, you know, it's all about body language, what you're exuding. Um, Self-expression. So that's all about self-love as well, right? And so if you love yourself, you exude this energy, this positive energy. So let me just pull, uh, shuffle the cards and I'll pull some additional clarifiers. I'm just going to close this. I'm so ADD, I see my reflection shuffling there. So get rid of distractions. Okay, so three cards. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. King of Fire. Okay. So immediately the Queen of Swords is shining forth. Okay. And so I was picking up this cold energy in the energy reading for June. Um, you know, allow yourself to feel deep emotions. If you want to attract love into your life, you want to feel passionate about life, then you have to be able to allow yourself to feel those emotions, those feelings. So if you exude positive energy, you attract positive energy. So the king of fire is coming in the future position. Um, so this is somebody who's very charismatic, very, um, very powerful, um, exuding sexual passion, creativity, that kind of thing. Um, with the past position, we have the ace of pentacles. So this is a new beginning in 3D. It's an offer, a gift from the universe abundance flowing into your life. So it's a seed of intention set. That seed is set. Um, the feminine, you're ten, you need to tend to the garden of your life um, and continue to do so. Continue to embrace everything and enjoy life. So past position. You know, because you're focusing on yourself, um, you may be coming off as being cold, non-intentionally maybe. Um, either way, you could be the one stepping into the king of fire, um, or you're attracting that fire, that passion into your life. And I think that the latter was true because we got the night of fire here, right? Like attra attracts light. Okay, so past position for the masculine. Let me just shuffle. So forgiving, healing, um, being hurt before, but being willing to, you know, let the past go. Healing is such a beautiful energy. Like forgiving somebody 
is such a beautiful energy is what I meant to say um, there's such a beautiful release that comes with it and you don't have to forgive that person fully like and you don't not forgive sorry you don't have to forgive their actions you're letting go of negative energy so that you can detoxify your life okay so actually I'm going to read that so forgiving forgiving and learning um, so the romance angels have heard your desire for great love and they bring you this card of guidance they see that your heart can give and receive the bliss of romance by clearing away the cobwebs of the past yes um, they know that you've been hurt before and they know that you're wary of being hurt again yet your defenses are creating barriers as you heal your past um, you won't keep recreating it so to change to a healthier relationship pattern it's necessary to detoxify any old anger blame and unforgiveness you may be holding this includes forgiving yourself <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> okay so three cards nine of swords eight of pentacles and the chariot okay so these two cards represent movement forward pursuing passion pursuing the things that make you happy when you're happy doing what you love then life is effortless you know things are effortless and because you're in a positive frame of mind you attract abundance into your life so the nine of swords is the same card here in the foundation fears worry worry about having this person hurt you again holding on to those fears um, blocks you from experience in life um, so the eight of pentacles again positive movement forward momentum building starting to see payoff understanding there's more work involved the chariot future position taking control of your life steering the direction of your life pursuing the things that make you happy so we see a movement from darkness into positivity into control action and then here we have the nine of Pentacles is the energy that you're bringing into the Union stability foundation um, reward readiness so let's move to the present position for the masculine I just want to reflect again on this image is repeated over and over and over again there were three cards in the energy reading and two very similar cards um, in this reading all on the masculine side all desiring passion um, understanding who his reflection is his twin flame feeling that mirroring very strongly and um, wanting to reconnect or to connect to express your love seven of Pentacles nine of Pentacles nice and the tower so confirmation that the wait is over seven of Pentacles pregnant pause um, contemplation reconsideration you're waiting for the payoff the nine of Pentacles is that payoff being ready ready to heal the past to pursue the things that you've always desired so we got the tower in the future the sudden change sudden realization the illusion comes down the falseness the false mask all comes down and the truth is revealed and it comes from a place of stability longevity long-term commitment you can't forget this person they you are desiring them to come back into your life you desire to reach out to reconnect and this decision whether it's a choice of yours or not it comes in very suddenly and it changes your life forever honeymoon for the feminine side present Grand Awakening, Eight of Swords, Strength, 
Grand Awakening is the same crowning card, so this is coming in your past. So you've had some major realizations. You have made some judgment calls. You've heard the call to awakening. Um, when you reflect on the past, um, you realize how this connection has been, you know, a soulmate connection to rise your consciousness, okay? But you desire more. You desire to connect. You desire to, f to be alone with your twin flame. Um, there's a sense that you are in this dreamy state. However, you also feel locked out of it. This reel, this movie reel, keeps replaying in your mind and you feel locked out of it. You feel out of control. And it is a source of worry. And it's a source of um, not, I'm almost feeling contempt because you don't trust anymore. So why bother? Um, but the chemistry, that the magnetism keeps drawing you back into the connection over and over again. There, You can't ignore it. You can't um, do anything about it. You know, like you, got, you have to trust in divine timing that um, everything will happen when you're truly ready for it to happen. You can't force or control or manipulate a situation because you end up slowing it down. So being in this honeymoon dreamy state is is good. You know, as long as you see, you know, that things are not just your imagination, right? The, these dreams, these ideas, these fantasies can come true as long as you visualize it, you keep this idea in your head, and when you vibrate at a high level, you attract that into your life. Okay, so in the future we have the Strength card. So this is all about creating a very loving, gentle, nurturing environment. You're opening the door. You, you know, through, through love and compassion, um, you're able to communicate. You're able to express yourself. So this is also about taming the beast within, taming that desire to lash out. But remember that the overall energy of the reading is nurture. Nurture your relationships. Be kind, be gentle, be loving. So the near future for the feminine or the masculine is codependency. So addictions are affecting your romantic life major stumbling block right there so that's what's causing that crossroads the crossroads is knowing what are not being able to make a decision it's mental conflict right cognitive dissonance you want something but everything else is telling you to do something different um what am i reading oh codependency Yeah. Okay, so addictions numb the heart and diminish the capacity to love. So it says, this card answers your question in perhaps a surprising way because addictions are the culprit behind the issues you're attempting to resolve. This could be your own craving for a substance or unhealthy behavior, or it could be your partner's addictions that are impacting your love life. So this card is an indicator of childhood experiences in addictive families. So addictions numb the heart to pain, but they also diminish the capacity to love. Since love is, a, is the basis of your romantic partnership, addictions become barriers to moving forward towards true emotional intimacy. So this is especially true if you are twisting yourself in knots to please a person whose dependency has lessened his or her capacity for happiness. So you're always giving, trying to make somebody happy, and it just goes nowhere. So, yeah, this um, there's a barrier to emotional intimacy here. And so you need to be, break free of that addiction. Whatever's holding you back, um, whatever you're using to numb your pain, um, needs to be healed allow yourself you know the, a repeated theme 
allow yourself to feel those emotions. Open yourself up again. Three of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the Moon. Three of Cups, past position. You used to be happy. You used to take a lot of joy in life. You celebrated life with your friends. You found your vibe tribe. You connected with other people. But that connection turned into a prison. You, you feel locked out of that connection again because of an addiction or something holding you back. And this is all in your mind. This is the same card the feminine is getting in her present position. So the moon is in the future. Okay, so the moon is actually at the heart space as a union energy. So face your fears. Break through the darkness. Break through your barriers, that mental state. You have the ability to free yourself. Chemistry, near future for the feminine. Tower, Eight of Cups, Eleven Eleven. So the tower, sudden change, disruption, masculine's getting it in the near future. Um, illusions. Uh, you know, a, a faulty foundation destroyed in order so in order for, you know, a strong foundation to be built upon it. So the, what I'm seeing here is the feminine walking away from falseness. Um walking away from emotional turmoil some um, something that's draining you emotionally and this may you know it came as a sudden realization I'm not having any more of it and you know you walked away from the destruction from the chaos in order to create truth a true loving connection chemistry your twin flame, you share this chemistry. You're walking away from illusions. You're walking away from emotional drain situations and pursuing, you know, that thing that awakens you spiritually. Because this is all about spiritual journey as well, right? And it's leading you right towards the twin flame connection. Okay, so we'll leave the final outcome for later. I love the masculine's final outcome. Romantic feelings. Oh my god. Okay, so into the union energy, the feminine, the night of fire, right? Pursuing your passion. Your energy is directed towards your goal. You're in, it's not like you are overcoming obstacles in the 3D reality. No, you are extremely excited and in this creative phase that you know it's almost like you can't control the passion to create or to pursue the things that make you happy so it's a very very positive vibrant energy um and it's all about creativity and so is the empress card the knight of fire the ace of swords or sorry the knight of cups the ace of swords and the base chakra Okay, so we got two knights here. So the Knight of Cups is offering your love to somebody. It's expressing your emotions. Being in that, you know, bubble phase. Um, trying to be creative, get somebody to notice you. So some feminine may have been flirting with the masculine. Um, so we see this love, we see this passion bubbling up. From the past the ace of swords I remember this card showed up a couple times in the past in the last reading for the feminine there's a sense of her standing by her truth her inner knowing about this connection possibly revealing a truth um, knowing how this connection makes her feel wanting to move forward so this is a victory card, the Ace of Swords is making a decision, cutting through barriers, very positive. But the future we have, the base chakra. So this is lower basic needs, need for safety, security, comfort, sustenance. So I'm actually going to pull one additional card for that. Okay. 
so I have my smaller deck here. What do you mean by the base shock? Okay, this card wants to be shown. Reach out. Same energy. Reach out. Take the lead. Connect. So there are some fears around being open, um, reaching out, connecting with the masculine. So here we really need you to be open to that. Just one moment. So yeah, since, you know, this is in the future and it's a blockage, um, this is a way through that blockage. Conquer your fears as the net of fire, right? Um, reach out, connect. Okay, so what does masking bring in? Um, longevity, stability, um, a strong foundation, abundance, wanting to enjoy life, feeling like he can, independence, freedom. So let me just shuffle these one more time. Oh my god, three cards actually just fell out and then they fell face down. So I'm just going to grab those and read them. Okay, one minute. Okay, so they fell down like this. So I'm almost feeling this is a past, present, and the future. Okay, so the past, oh, these are upside down. So the past, okay, so the Nine of Wands upside down, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Cups reverse. Okay, so I don't usually read reversals, but that's the way they fell out. Okay, so I pulled these for the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Fire is the wounded warrior, right? So wanting to give up, feeling exhausted, feeling like you've been fighting um, too long, but um, you have the power to continue. So we got two nines here. A cycle has completed. You've given a great deal of yourself to a situation. You feel that that situation has ended. The reward has come. The w reward is worth it. So the Eight of Cups in the present position, so this is the same card the Feminine is getting in the near future. Um, so the movement is towards the Feminine is what I feel, away from this feeling of, you know, fighting, struggling, to a more soothing, calm, um, self-love um, energy. Now, the Ace of Cups, future position. So this would normally represent being ready to open your heart to new love. Um, now, we got that blockage over here of fearing uh, to reach out, fearing, you know, this connection, fearing opening yourself up. And so what I feel is just, you know what, you need to turn that love back around and be open to love. Um, let love in. If you see something else in the cards, please let me know. I always want to hear your feedback. We'll leave them in reverse, though. Okay. So, foundation, one card each. The Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. So, the Nine of Pentacles, same card that showed up you know, three times now. So in the present, present position for the masculine, the present position in terms of how he views a union, and it's coming in from the feminine side in the past as a foundation. And so it's almost, you know, it's almost this card right here, creating the sense of stability and home is being reflected on both sides. They're starting to see the longevity of the connection. There's no point in worrying anymore. Trust, you know, in divine time that everything's going to happen when you're both ready for it. So the Six of Wands, um, feeling empowered, feeling like you're the rock star, being cheered, being con feeling connected. Um, what I'm seeing with this is in the dark, in the disconnect, there's still light and that positive vibration, feeling that attraction, that connection, home. Crowning energy is Grand Awakening. One card for the masculine, nice. King of Cups, and wow, Passion Ignited card. That the 
the idea of passion being reignited in this reading is definitely strong. And there's a desire for the masculine to reach out and connect. And the feminine is allowing that or opening up to the possibility of it. So the feminine desires that passion to be reignited. She desires the go light, go time. She's ready on a spiritual level. She's ready to make changes to be reborn. The King of Cups is could represent a water sign, but this masculine feeling emotional balance. His mental and emotions are balanced in harmony. He's able to express his emotions, feel emotions. Um, there's no fear here whatsoever. Feeling love deeply, and it's because he's awakening his heart, his passion, his, his love. Right, so at the heart space we got the moon. And remember there was a full moon yesterday. So nice. The two of cups and the nine of swords again. So again the nine of swords have shown up three times. The past the distant past for the masculine and it's coupled with fear of being hurt and forgiving. It's coming up as a foundation and it's coming up as a crowning enter or sorry, at the heart space for the feminine. So not knowing um, is bringing up a lot of fears for the feminine, wondering if this is a deception, wondering if it's real, if um, it's all an illusion, feeling locked out of it. And because you you feel locked out of it, um, these fears are really playing on you. So at the heart space, we don't want this fear. We don't want this blockage here at all. We need to open it up like the masculine. The door is open there see that the door is open so this is expansion um, seeing all the possibilities that passion is ignited and now he's looking at this union through his heart and seeing the beacon of light the light in the darkness in this situation the feminine is seeing the beacon the light in the darkness so that's why you see the, you know, both the masculine and feminine are reaching for that light. Wow. Okay. Um, so we'll read the final messages from the universe. I think I want to use the Osho Zen again. So for the masculine, guidance, feminine, transformation. So this is um, likened to the death card. And there's a masculine kind of angel here. Um, over on the masculine side, we have this like feminine en energy, divine guidance, your inner guidance, your inner knowing. Okay, so I'll read the feminine first. Um, hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay. The central figure in this card sits atop the vast flowers of the void and holds a symbol of transformation, the sword that cuts through illusions, the snake that rejuvenates itself by shedding its skin and broken chain of limitation, and the yin and yang symbol of transcending dualities. Okay, so um, the sword, right there, the ace of swords. Um, shedding the skin I feel that's kind of what you're doing up here right you're you're releasing the old the illusion and transcending duality so we see here this feminine energy being represented but I think what this card is trying to say is become one within yourself 
Okay, anyway, so let's carry on. Um, one of its hands rests on its lap, open and receptive. The other reaches down to touch the mouth of a sleeping face, symbolizing the silence that comes when we are at rest. This is a time for a deep let go. Allow any pain, sorrow, or difficulty just to be there. Accepting its... Um, Oh my God, facticity, facticity, oh my gosh. It is very much like the experience of Gudan Bhutta when after years of seeking, he finally gave up knowing there was nothing more that he could do. That very night, he became enlightened. Transformation comes like death in its own time. And like death, it takes you from one dimension into another. Okay, major shift in dimensions or perception happening for the feminine coming out of a cold detached state into this loving nurturing giving um, energy okay so three of pentacles now normally that represents a firm foundation feeling the fruits of your labor you're starting to see the fruits of your labor you know positive energy building but in the Osho Zen, it's a different card. The angelic figure with rainbow-colored wings on this card represents the guide that each of us carries within. Like the second figure in the background, we may sometimes be a little reluctant to trust the guide when it comes to us because we are so accustomed to taking our cues from the outside rather than from the inside. The truth of your own deepest being is trying to show you where to go right now. And when this card appears, it means you can trust the inner guidance you're being given. It speaks in whispers, and sometimes we can hesitate, not knowing if we have understood rightly. But the indications are clear, and following the inner guidance, you will feel more whole, more integrated, as if you are moving outward from the very center of your being. If you go with it, this beam of light will carry you exactly where you need to go. Wow, so following that beam of light... Discovering your tr the truth about what you desire and following that. Very nice. Okay, so I do hope this helped. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Alright, cheers.